Okay, we are starting off today in Menethil Harbor. Welcome, everybody. And I find that Harlow Barnaby finally has a quest for us after laying here on the ground for ages. Dunmadir has fallen to the Dark Iron Dwarves. My wounds are grave, priest. Most of the regiment was killed. The Dark Iron Thugs attacked us before we could regroup from the Thandal Span ambush. Our leader, Longbraid, sounded the retreat horn. As we left the town, I was hit by a stray axe in the back. All went black. I awoke here in Menethil, but I fear for my fellow soldiers. Hope still burns within me. Perhaps Longbraid is still alive. It's probably like infection that burns within you, seeing as how you don't seem mobile. Search for Longbraid near the town of Dunmodir. Uh, okay, well that's yellow. That's another thing to do. That's okay, I guess. And then inside here, Velstag Ironjaw has a quest for us. The Dragomaw Orc Clan is showing its strength in more than just Elgaz. Captain Stoutfist has asked to speak with those willing to offer aid against these orcs. He is inside the keep in the war room. I guess we should Keep your feet on the take ground. the quest before we go talk to him, right? Otherwise, he'll have no idea who we are. How are you? Thalstag briefed me on your past success with the Dragomal Orcs at Donalgaz. You're a human of worth, and I have a task for you. Be good. War Banners. The Dragomal Orc Clan was all but destroyed by the end of the Second War, after they lost control of their red dragon pets. The dragons were not very happy with their old masters and fiercely hunted the Dragomals. What few remained fled from Grim Batol and into the mountains east of Welgar's excavation. Now they've gained strength and have a, an encampment northeast of Menethil. We want you to attack that encampment. Gather and bring me their war banners as proof. Northeast of Menethil. See you soon. All right, we got more things to do. War banners is yellow. Follow them, Dunmodir. We could check out, which I, I thought was somewhere up here. But then the excavation, I, I'm thinking, has to be down here. get lost in this keep. Excavation site to the east. Well, that's vague. We're gonna get out, I swear. Isn't everything east of Menethil? Isn't that like saying it's like east? Everything is east of here. Can I assume this uncovered area? If not, then we could just shoot up to Dun Modir, Modir and cut our losses, I suppose. But I'd really like to find the excavation site. The direction of east from Menethil Harbor, not, not such a great direction. And we also need Fen Creepers. They are stealthed in some of these rivulets, but mainly they're to the north, so I don't know if by heading south we're even going to run into any. See, the Fen Dwellers don't count. It has to be the stealthed Fen Creepers. And yeah, like I said, we're not likely to run into any of them down this way, but this is the way we're going. It's going to be a long run, though, if we can't find any other objectives in the meantime.
Ah, that's right. We are in the wetlands today. And that means, for whatever unoptimized reason, we get to turn our water effects down only in this zone and in Dust Wallow Marsh. Everywhere else seems to be great. Come on. And we haven't had a quest for the raptors yet, which is a little bit odd to me. There have been plenty of raptors to the south, to the north. There are special raptors back here, modeled screechers. And yet we haven't been given a quest for them, so not sure what to think. Actually, I mean, what I normally think is that we've missed a quest somewhere. I mean, the modeled guys are at our level, so maybe we're waiting on a quest from them, but the, the smaller ones... Well, they're a level, couple levels below us, so I would have already expected to have a quest for them. This level 29 fella over here sure seems keen on them. What is he? He's a priest, so the chances of him just fighting these guys for skins? About 50-50. It's either a quest or skins. I don't know. I see a pick and a hammer. Is this the excavation site we're looking for? It seems to be. What are we even doing here? Contact Marin. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, let's go up. If nothing else, it'll give us a view of the area. Maybe we can find the guy, but I have a feeling that he's up here. Maybe he'll have a quest for us to deal with these raptors. They seem to be overpopulating the dig site here, and I doubt that's intended. Or ideal for, you know, people who are digging. Quite a view up here of the entire excavation site. Not seeing our man anywhere. Uh, but here's Omer Ironbraid and he has a quest for us. Doesn't really... Oh look, maybe Welgar is back in the cave. Interest fight. Situation is severe, that much is for sure. When we uncovered these bones, it attracted the raptors. These filthy beasts killed my brethren and trapped me, Marin, and the poor prospector up here. Help clear the wetlands of these raptors, Athos. Modeled raptors and modeled screechers are just west of the bluff here. Kill ten of each if you can. That will be a good start to the vengeance I have planned for them. Yeah, you're like planning vengeance against a bunch of wild animals that are just hunters. I, I don't know. They're not sentient. Watch your back. You just like riled them up with bones and then they attacked. Shit happens. Shit happens in a world where there's raptors, guys. Haven't you seen Jurassic Parks 1 through X teen? It was horrible. We were uncovering some rare artifacts and we began to discover these large bones. Before we knew what was happening, these mild raptors overwhelmed the dig site. Many lives were lost. Omer here, so brave, saved the prospector and me. He defended us as we ran for shelter. Now we're trapped. And our hard work lays in ruins. Here, take this note back to my sweet Terrell. It will explain the situation to him. Yeah, I'll tell him you're shacked up in a cave with two dudes. Safe travel. 
And you're not coming out anytime soon. He'll appreciate that. What's on your mind? Uncovering the past. Just before the invasion, I uncovered a large tablet called the Goaz Stone. The translated text breaks off in four places. The text speaks of a divine plan and a doomed prophecy. I fear we are running out of time. I am too old to go down and brave those beasts, but you are strong. Scour the excavation site and uncover four missing tablet fragments. Eidos, Mordor, Golm, and Neru. Search for them in the ancient artifacts or where the soil is loose. Bring them to me so I can unlock the mystery. Less concerned with getting out of the cave alive and surviving the raptors, more concerned about solving the mystery? I dig it. They're dwarves. That's what they do. They dig, and they explore, and they uncover mysteries. Because somebody has to. Ah, uh, raptors killed. Uncovering the past, it's like, we're just gonna go down here and get these. I don't know why it's orange. Maybe some of the enemies down here are orange? Who cares? We're already here. It's not like we're going to leave and come back later. And look, someone has done a lot of work for us on killing some of the raptors here. We don't even need to kill these ones for the quest, which is hilarious. They're the ones infesting the dig site. He literally wants us to go out here and, and fight the ones that we saw previously, I think. Now here's a modeled... I don't even know if these are going to count towards anything. Let's find out. I'm really curious now. My guess is they don't count towards the kill quest at all. Damn, they are level 27 and they're a little beefy. They definitely don't count towards the kill quest. So we need to be looking for tablets and relics and things that are in the soil that we can un unearth. Let's skin these guys. And preferably we can do some of this while a few of these guys are already dead. I'm out of range. All right, there's the Eidos Fragment. Fragment? Trying to kind of survey with the mouse what we can click on and what we can't. Because we only need to work towards things that are clickable items. I'm just not seeing anything. Which is not a... Oh look! <laughs> Hiding right here in front of us. And then maybe some more back this way. Narrow fragment. Oh, you're gonna aggro. Yep. Bag space is looking rather good, if I do say so myself. I keep thinking this lantern or canteen or whatever it is might be an item, but it doesn't activate when I hover over it. So many reasons why leatherworking is probably the easiest profession in the game to skill up.
I'm out of range. Basically, just gonna have to start clearing these guys out and looking for stuff. I'm not seeing anything immediately obvious, but they do tend to be hiding these behind embankments and walls and things of that nature. Nothing back there. We're gonna have to take somebody out. We're uh, running out of room to maneuver. Failed attempts, huh? You'd think they'd have something in their main camp here, but it's obviously been overrun. What about this thing? What are they trying to carry away here? Is this not something? This seems like so obviously something that um, I just have a hard time believing that it's not? Is this just like a dwarven thing? Whoops, well. It's my attempt to grab a screenshot of it failed completely. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. It feels like it should be clickable, but it isn't, so I guess we are fighting. Cool if we had a UI. Yeah, even with inner fire, these guys are kind of beating the shit out of us without power word shield. I can't cast that. That heal even go off? Well. I guess we have to kill every single raptor in here and hope it stays dead for a minute. Which is not what I was hoping we would have to do, but... I'm doubly upset that we're not getting kill credit. That would have been a really nice thing to be able to do, you know, two quests at once. Can we check out behind this wall here? Uh, nothing. Of course not. Why would there be anything? Where haven't we looked? And the other question is, like, here we go. If another player has looted something, are we waiting for it to pop back into existence? Because that's a real pain the ass that's a real pain in the ass unless they're unique and each player can only pick them up once otherwise this this quest could really suck for a lot of different reasons but if we're sharing the pickups off the ground and we have to wait minutes for them to respawn and there's we have the option to camp near it. Like, is this one we've grabbed, or is this one that another player has grabbed that might respawn if I wait? That is the question, the answer to which I do not know. But could be very impactful on how you would complete this quest. Because I know we got the one from over here.
If I run back over to this plaque, is it going to be lootable for me? Because time has passed since another player has grabbed it? Like, what's this guy doing? See him way back there? I don't know what he's doing. That's the problem. He could be looting something off the ground back there that I can't see. Because we only have two of the four, and we've been kind of all through here, I think. Just gonna keep checking this to see if it becomes active for us at any point. Here is some kind of artifact. It looks like a sarcophagus or... And it too is, not only is it not clickable, I can actually stand inside of it. So not sure what that means. But it's not helping us complete the quest. Nothing here in camp am I able to click on. Nothing on the dinosaur bones. Alright, well, it's been fun running in circles here. Maybe it was orange to like demark its annoyance level. Very, very confused. Is there an area of this that we're not going? Like, am I supposed to be looking up here somewhere for more shit? Like, up where we were at? It didn't seem that way. And I, I was kind of thinking that everything would be right down here in the, in the excavation site proper. But now I don't know if that's the case. I guess all we're doing here is we're going to grind out the rest of this level, and that's maybe the only productive thing that we accomplish here today. Yeah, I'm a little baffled unless we're supposed to go somehow into the cave to look for some things. Didn't get that impression. This guy seems absolutely confused that we're right in front of him. That's cool. That means he just respawned. Yeah, we've got a lot of people around here. So if we're sharing these drops, chances are we're not going to get the ones we need. We got a pattern though. Dark leather gloves. Oh look, you respawned again. Yeah, see, we still can't click this thing. Which leads me to believe that we will never be able to click it, or that someone is over here clicking it before we can get to it. Uh... It's bruise weed. Yeah, you go ahead and clear this stuff for us. We have circles to keep running. For no apparent reason. Because we're not finding out anything new. Can skin some more raptors. Not that one, because it wasn't looted.
It's too far away. I've been sensing some like weird delay on our wand coming out and actually firing that maybe I just wasn't noticing before. Maybe it's a global cooldown thing, I don't know. I swear guys, if this isn't one of the items we need then I don't understand what they think that we're looking for here. It's, it's really something to see. I see these two other things that are clearly artifacts here and here. And we need two other artifacts. And I'm thinking to myself, how the hell could it not be these two things, right? God, fuck it. Let's just get our level. Oh hi, yeah. That's still recharging. Dude, that spell piss off. Run out of range now, like a crazy raptor that you are. Nice try though. That's still recharging. That spell isn't ready yet. I can't cast that yet. That's still recharging. I can't do that. He's complaining a lot today. I mean, I'm complaining a lot today too, so I guess I can't hold it against him. I don't want to be inside of it. Shit. Well, we can literally be inside of it. As interesting as that is. It's not stopping us from getting attacked by this raptor. But now we've gone places we've never been before. We've been inside of an artifact we cannot click on. Alright, there's our level. And that is goal achieved for today uh, in light of what's happening here with this quest. We're going to go hood, head, <laughs> we're going to go ahead. And we're going to put another point into meditation. So we're up to 10% of our mana regen continuing while we cast, which is huge. Uh, taking out this raptor also would be a good idea. And then we're going to go, we're going to go check this other artifact one more time. The one that's on the wheels. Like it had been moved recently, like they were trying to get it out, you know, kind of like an important artifact You would try to move back to town or your base uh, We'll check that out one more time and if it yields nothing, well, we're, we're gonna take a break and be done with this quest for the time being and uh, Perhaps come back when something becomes clear to me about the mistakes I'm making Or the quest itself clears up in some manner that allows us to actually finish it But let's just go check one more time over here now, if this had just been active, this guy would have grabbed it. And if that's the case, then we would be sitting here waiting for it to reactivate. But yeah, once again, we can't do anything here. Um, so that is going to be that. I think the next thing we just do is we work on Omer's Revenge, uh, which is going to be just out of the excavation site, away from these asshole raptors. And that will be a little bit more straightforward. And later on, we'll come back. Maybe at a time of day when there's no other players around so I can assess exactly what's happening. 
I need to be able to figure out if we're not finding the right items. If we're finding the right items and they've been clicked already by another player. Because uh, it's going to be one of those two things. I can't figure it out with all these players around. It's not happening. I'm not fighting you assholes. There you go. Run with me, guys. Run with me. So yeah, that's where we're going to leave this one for today. Next time we'll start off with Omer's Revenge and maybe we'll be able to wrap up Blisters on the Land. So I, I'm looking forward to eventually being done with the Wetlands, but we just opened up a bunch of stuff in the Wetlands. So it seems like we're going to be here for a while. And I'm just going to have to learn to start liking the Wetlands a little bit more than I do. If you guys have any tips on questing in the zone or circuits we could run to complete quests uh, one after the other, or any questing hubs that I've missed, uh, please let me know. Anything to make this experience here in the Wetlands a little bit better, I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, thank you guys so much for all of your support. It's really appreciated. It means the world to me. Take care of yourselves out there in the world. Take care of each other. And we'll see you back here soon. Bye now.